Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In the section of the book of Numbers that we're at currently in our reading, a lot of focus is on God's people getting prepared to be on the move. And a big part of that is in consecrating these Levites and getting them ready for the task that they are about to undertake. Uh, there's also preparation for the carts and the oxen and the different things that would be used by the Levites to carry the Ark of, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the, the tabernacle as it moved among the people, before the people, as they moved through the land. And in basically the middle of this whole discussion and is this idea of the lampstand. It almost seems out of place. If you're reading through the book of Numbers, uh, he's talking about these offerings in chapter 7 uh, that each of the leaders of the tribes were bringing to the Lord. Um, chapter 8 is about the consecration of the Levites uh, for the work of the Lord in connection to the tabernacle. But right there at the beginning of chapter 8, you just have this uh, seemingly random instruction or, or explanation about the lampstand. Uh, it says in verse 2, Speak to Aaron and say to him, When you mount the lamps, the seven lamps will give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron therefore did so. He mounted its lamps in the front of the lampstand, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And then it gives a description of the lampstand. And I don't think this is really by accident. I don't think this is as random as perhaps initially it might seem. This idea of the light shining in front of the lampstand uh, really can relate to what the children of Israel would need as they traveled through the wilderness. And that is, they needed a light for their path. They needed direction as they traveled through the wilderness and as they made their way up to the promised land. And when we think about Psalm 119 and, you know, verses such as, that, that say, you know, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Uh, it kind of reflects a little bit this idea of the lampstand. The light would shine in front of the lampstand. And light is very important for making the way plain in, in the way that a person is traveling. You know, if you're driving in your car, especially if you're driving at night, you got your headlights on. And they're shining the light on the path before you. So that you can see where you're going. And that's the wonder of God's word. That's what God's word does for us. Uh, it's kind of like the lampstand that shines the light in front. Uh, as we get into God's word. As we are engaged in that here. Even on this group. In our daily encounter. You know. If we're diligent. And if we're consistent. And in getting into God's word. It's going to be just that. It's going to give us light for our path. It's going to give us a direction in which we can go in life. Um, oftentimes we're challenged in life with, you know, which way should I go? Which way should I turn? Uh, what decisions should I make in connection to this or to that? Well, God's word helps us in that and it shines some light on our lives and gives us some direction and, and helps us to know which way we should go. Um, combine that with prayer Combine that with seeking the Lord and his guidance in our lives. And we can, you know, navigate through this life pretty well with the Lord helping us in that way. And so as we think about these lampstands, we think about the fact that these Israelites were about to uh, take off on a journey, an epic journey, if you will, uh, to go into the promised land. And we think about ourselves as we too are seeking a promised land, as we are seeking uh, the land that God has prepared for us, uh, we can really appreciate, I think, God's Word and what it can do for our lives, uh, the fact that it can shine the light on the direction, the path that God has laid before us, and allow us to move in the direction that God wants us to go. So let's be thankful for God's Word today, and let's get into it, let's get direction from it, Let's let God's word really shine in our hearts and shine in our lives so that we can live a life more pleasing to him.
So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.